Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Mortgage Minute. My name is Aaron Moore with Equity Home Loans and I wanted to talk to you today about rate locking. What does locking the rate mean? Some of you might know already, but simply it is locking the interest rate. The rates on mortgages fluctuate daily, sometimes hourly. They definitely change throughout the day. And sometimes it's minimal and sometimes it's drastic. And the longer period of time we wait, the more likely it is for it to, to change. And sometimes a little bit more drastic. It's a good idea. You don't wanna lock your rate too soon. So for example, right now rates are on the high end, but they just dropped, you know, about a, not quite a half a point over the last week. So that's a good trend. But if you had locked last week because you didn't want to go up any further, you would not be able to take advantage of the lower rate because once you lock your rate, you don't get to get a better rate unless it's un substantial enough for it to make a good impact on your payment. And the lender typically charges a fee to do it. So after they take their fee, does it still make sense for you to do it? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So you don't always get to take a lower rate if a rate becomes available once you've locked. That's with one particular lender. If you switch lenders, obviously you haven't locked with that other lender, you can do whatever you want, but not all lenders have the same rates. So you'd really have to take a look. Another reason why a broker is a good idea because a regular retail lender, they're not gonna be able to do that for you. Once you lock with them, they're gonna be stuck on that. If you lock with a broker, like myself, I have other lenders and we might be able to take it out and switch to another lender to get you a better interest rate. But once you go under contract, your lender will take a look and see what the rate's at. And they'll look and see if we wanted to do, if you're gonna close in 30 days, they'll look at what a 30 day rate lock looks like. And the longer that rate lock is, the higher it's going to be because they're guaranteeing that rate for a longer time. So you wanna take a look and see. I mean, one time I went all the way up to eight days before closing before I locked it because that was the cheapest rate option and the rates were very stable at the time. Um, and it saved us a little bit. I haven't had any customers lose a lot on a rate lock, but I have heard of stories where they didn't lock their rate and they waited and waited and waited and the rate went up three quarters of a point. So you have to be careful with a rate lock, but typically what you would wanna do just to make sure that you don't have any surprises is lock your rate after you get under contract on the house and give yourself a few extra days. If you got a 30 day close, maybe look at a 35 day rate lock. So sometimes closing takes a day longer than anticipated. You wanna plan for things because if you lose your rate lock right before closing, you have to get the newest and most recently available interest rate and that might be a deal breaker. So you don't wanna put yourself in that trick bag because what if you lose your earnest money because you can't close and it's only a few days before closing. Not your fault, but something that happens and you can lose your earnest money if that happens right before closing and you can't make the loan happen because the rate's too high. You know, nobody blames anyone for watching their budget, but by the same token, we took that house off the market based on good faith that you had your loan in place. And if it changes and you can't complete it, that's what earnest money's for. So that's a little bit of information about rate locks. You have more information that you'd like to know about, please feel free to reach out. You can DM me, give me a call. Uh, I am always available. You've got a guy out.